Right, Preston. Well, police are still trying to verify the teen's claims, but say they continue to investigate the stabbing as well as those hate crime allegations. So far, though, only one teen has been taken into custody in relation to this incident, and his family maintains he had a right to defend himself. I do hope they drop the charges because it's not fair, you know, to him that he was assaulted and attacked by a group of kids and it was just him minding his business. But Trina Hicks's son was walking near the Park 16 apartments Tuesday to catch a ride home when she says he was confronted by a group of classmates targeting him because of his sexual orientation. They started taunting him, calling him gay and so he turned around and as he turned around he was punched in the face. And he said everything went black and he just started swinging to protect himself. Federal Way police say two of the teens were stabbed during the fight. One of the kids had a pretty deep side gut wound. We spoke with a witness at the nearby apartments who wanted to remain anonymous. She says the teens went there for help, but did not want to go to the hospital or call 911. Instead, wanting to leave the area. And I was like, please don't. Like, you, you're, you got stabbed, no matter what the circumstances are. You were bleeding, you were injured, you need help. Please stay. And it took like 20 minutes for me to convince him to stay there and get medical attention. Police say the two teens stabbed would not cooperate with officers on scene. They took Hicks's son into custody and he could face charges for the assault. But his family maintains he was only defending himself with a knife he carries for protection. And they say he is the victim of a hate crime. He's finally been tired of being bullied. And like I've always told him, you need to learn to protect yourself because regardless to whatever, the world is rough and life gets difficult. And for people to do things like that, and that's a hate crime. And we're told there may be body camera footage verifying the teen's claims that he was targeted because of his sexual orientation. We have requested that body camera footage. Meanwhile, prosecutors intend to decide by tomorrow whether or not to charge Hicks's son with the crime. And again, this is all still under investigation, the self the self-defense and hate crime allegations. Reporting live in Federal Way, Lynn Wynn, Como News.